Hey folks, I'm Florian from iProcess and in today's webcast we're talking about writing functional safety test cases for automotive software. Our focus is on the distinctive approaches required for different automotive safety integrity level or ASIL ratings from ASIL QM to ASIL D based on ISO 26262 Road Vehicles Functional Safety. Let's set the stage with our foundational tools, Hazard Analysis and Risk Assessment or HARA and Failure Mode and Effects Analysis, FMEA. These methodologies are essential for identifying potential hazards, assessing risks, and understanding the effects of different failure types. They form the backbone of our testing strategy, ensuring we comprehensively address safety and quality issues. While the HARA determines the ASIL level of your system, and always remember that the highest ASIL level derived applies to all of your system, the FMEA is the key input for the functional safety test cases. Let's dive into the varying test methods across different ASIL ratings. ASIL QM stands for Quality Management. Here, the focus is on quality and functionality rather than safety. For example, a radio not playing at the correct volume is a typical ASIL QM issue. The test methods at this level are less stringent, focusing on user experience and product quality. Test scenarios include functional tests checking on the radius operation across a range of volumes and conditions. Safety critical scenarios are not typically the focus at this level. ASIL B. At this level, safety becomes a more prominent concern. Consider the example of a radar system failing to detect an object. The testing here is more rigorous and encompasses both functionality and failure mode analysis. This would involve fault injection to simulate different failure scenarios and assess the system's response. The objective is to ensure the system maintains safety or fails in a controlled manner, avoiding hazardous situations. ASLD. This is the highest level of safety criticality. For critical systems like steering, for instance, the testing methodologies are the most comprehensive and stringent. Tests extend beyond functionality and failure modes to evaluate system robustness and the effectiveness of safety mechanisms under extreme conditions. This might involve intricate simulations, real-world scenario testing and stress testing under various environmental conditions, and unexpected user inputs. The goal is to ensure the system's safety mechanisms activate reliably under any conceivable failure, safeguarding occupants and other traffic participants. When designing test cases for functional safety, it's essential to employ specific techniques that align with the nature of automotive software. This includes methods like equivalence partitioning, boundary value analysis, and state transition testing. Each technique plays a unique role in ensuring comprehensive coverage of software functionalities and potential failure modes. Make sure you consult the ISO 26262 standard and its comprehensive documentation to align your testing methods with the ASIL levels of your product. The transition from ASIL QM to ASIL D in testing is significant. It's not just a step up in complexity, but a leap into a more exhaustive realm of safety assurance. At ASIL QM, the emphasis is on basic functionality and quality. ASIL B introduces a layer of safety testing and ASIL D demands a thorough examination of safety mechanisms in a wide array of scenarios and conditions. At iProcess, we understand the critical nature of these different testing levels. Our expertise lies in tailoring test cases to specific ASIL rating of a product, ensuring that each test is not only comprehensive, but also relevant to the level of safety criticality. We guide teams in developing robust test strategies that align with the complexity and safety requirements of their automotive software. If you are looking to enhance your approach to safety testing in automotive software, reach out to iProcess. We are here to help you navigate these complexities and ensure that your products are not only compliant, but also state-of-the-art in their safety standards.